Alrighty. Well, I just got home from work. I drive a school bus, as you can just see, and I saw my packages were delivered. So let's go look at the packages. But before I gotta go hit the child alarm on my school bus back here. That just means I have to come back here and look for any students that are still on the bus. So I'm gonna close in all my hatches and my windows. Now we can go play with some toys I got in the mail. Let's go. So first I gotta do the emergency release. And use that walk down. Yeah, I hope I'll close this one on the outside. And this is how this is how I close my windows. I just come outside the bus and boom, that's all I do. And I now I have to wait a second because this door has to release air pressure. Come on, stay shut. There we go. Let's go get my new batteries. And here they are. So as you saw in my last video, I, t I bought two new two of these batteries, tested them, hooked them up. I bought two more. They just came in. And yeah, let's unbox these babies. Also, don't look at my wood shop because it's kind of my wood shop's kind of crazy. Also, and I'm gonna use my new pocket knife I got in the mail just a few days ago to open these things. So these are 12 volts, 3,000 amp hours. Um, so this will give me four of these batteries. Which means I'm gonna, have a, I'm gonna have a total of over 15,000 watt hours. 15,000 watts I'll be able to um, store. And the reason I went this direction with these kind of batteries here instead of getting those big old server rack batteries is because those big server rack batteries are 5,000 watt hours. Um, this right here, it should be here somewhere is, so this is almost a whole server rack battery battery. Now the two I already got over there is over 7,000 Watts, which is almost one and a half server racks. So now since I got these four, that'd be like having three server rack batteries. And of course, you know, a server rack battery is about thousand dollars a battery plus or minus. You can get it for like 960, 950, or you know, plus or minus more. But the good thing about these is with these just these four batteries, 12 volt batteries, is a, a equivalent to having three of those. And these are only about five to six hundred dollars for a set of two, which means altogether it'll be about twelve hundred dollars for these batteries versus paying over three thousand for the server rack batteries. Alrighty, let's get the other one. Now you don't want to just stick these batteries onto the system because these are are these are going to be half half charged, while my other batteries are going to be fully charged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect my other batteries because I still got probably about three and a half hours of of solar power coming in so i'm gonna go ahead and disconnect those and hook these up so these can be charging and tomorrow tomorrow i will hook them all together Time to take his caps off. Things up. And that was give you a two two extra set of screws. 
you know, just in case you lose these. Oh no, I dropped a piece. Ugh. All right, let's go disconnect, disconnect the old batteries. We use my fully charged batteries down here. Don't mind the sawdust, I've been cutting some wood down here. I'm gonna take these off. These are fully charged ones. Oh, gotta disconnect the batteries, there we go. See up here? I almost forgot. Disconnect the disconnect the batteries from the inverter before you do this. Let's try to move those wires out of the way. That way, no, they don't. They're not going to touch. And I'm going to put these back in here. That way, I don't lose them. Time to go get the other ones. All right, I'm gonna check my voltages to make sure. I'm gonna say they're gonna be 13.18. That's what they were last time. Wow, 13.17. 18, there it is. And let's see, 13.18. Yep. They're about 50% charged. Let's see what they're, let's see how strong a fully charged battery is. So 13.5455. There you go. I got some of these pre-made jumpers already. So now I gotta do them in series. And the series just means you're going positive one to negative on the other one. Basically you're doubling the uh, voltage. So instead of being a uh, 12.8, it'll actually be 24. first so you might be some of you guys might be wondering how do i know which ones a black wire goes to is when you do it in a series like this you're still going to have a black and a red so you still have a the negative and the positive left over Here, and look at my right now it says zero amps going in. I'm gonna flip my my dial switch, turn my battery on. There we go, and now it's charging already with 51 amps. So my solar my solar power is uh, right now 1700. My RV is using only 114. So all this solar power is going right into the battery. It's 45 amps. Now, we're just gonna let that be for the rest of the day. Then tomorrow I'll be uh -huh. able to, I know. Let that be? There's a B. Let it be. Let it be. Alrighty, so tomorrow I will hook these all together. See you later.